artists, it's Emily with Art with Albright. Glad you're joining me in my mission to draw every dog on the planet. Um, I really am. Okay, don't laugh at me. He 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 he. That's so funny. You think I'm kidding? I really am. I love dogs, and my daughter and I are now rescuer. Uh, workers for CAPS in Houston. So watch out. We're going to save uh, dogs and puppies. Um, so today, um, grab a pencil, grab your stomp, grab a racer. I'm working on some cardstock paper. Look at some of my other dogs. I have this small dog. He's one of our rescue puppies. Um, he's so much fun to do. I'm just in love with this pouty lip. Um, and then I've got a bulldog. He's fun. He's um, he's a little more um, advanced, I'd say, because of the foot placement. But I'm sure if you've done any of my videos, you know that if we work together, we can do it. Uh, this is a Havanese puppy, um, but per request of one of you YouTubers, I love requests. So keep them coming. Let me know what kind of dogs you want to work on. Um, if you're not a dog person, um, still love me. Okay, still love me. Let me know what else you would like to work on. Um, I do other things than dogs. Of course, we've done the T-Rex. Uh, we've done my lazy cat. Look at that. Sometimes you just feel lazy and you just want to be like a cat. Um, I've done um, some Disney things. Yay. You know the Disney is fun to do. We've done some Star Wars um, adventures together. And I even ventured out and I've done things in color. Be proud, please. I'd love an applause right now. Yay! All right. I'm so proud of you for coming back and joining me. Um, whoa! This is so awesome that we're back together. This is so exciting. Okay, I'll get over it. Let's get started. We're going to start with the muzzle of the dog, and then we're going to put all our placement, we're going to build our character real light, and then when we start to do the details, we're going we're gonna to work with um, a heavier pressure on our pencil so that we have that darkness and that really good detail in the outline, okay? So let's jump in. Um, again, I'm just using a piece of cardstock. I like to cut mine in half um, so I can fit it in my nice journal. Um, I'm going to draw real light, a nice oval. Get a good oval. It looks like um, a potato or maybe a loaf of bread. Mmm. Oh, watch out. It is lunchtime here in Houston. I am getting hungry. So from here, I'm going to draw a nice V right here. A nice V. Notice I just sketched it out. Just real light marks. Um, and then I'm going to erase this because we don't see that part, because his nose is covering it. And in the top, I'm going to curve it up and down. Okay, make that look like, oh goodness, here we go with food again. A piece of pizza. There you go. I think mine is just a little too big. I wanted a big nose, but not that big, right? So let's fix that before we go on any further. Okay, so you take that opportunity to make sure you've got a good size nose. Um, we've got the, the face. And then on both sides, I'm going to mark on both sides two lines. Okay, from there, we're just going to go up, 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 and over, and back down and join those lines. So now you've created the head. That is the head of our puppy dog. Good job. So far, so good. Excellent. Now, the front, I'm going to draw a nice arch right here. That's going to be the front paw. And then over here, I'm going to try to draw one to match over here. And then I'm going to get rid of this line in here. So I like to clean up as I go. That way it starts looking more and more like what we want to draw. Okay, so far so good. Nice. Now we need big floppy ears. Cocker Spaniels have big floppy ears. So I'm going to take and I'm going to go up, 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 down, and I'm going to curve it back in like that. So that way you know he has nice big Cocker Spaniel ears. So do that on both sides. Now you think I'm going too fast, please hit that pause button. Okay, you had that, that fun little pause button in a live class. I would, um, 
I'd slow down. I'd have more interaction with you, okay? If you are part of my live virtual art classes, uh, I'd say give me a happy face. Um, if you're doing good, uh, sad face if we're needing to slow down. Um, so if you haven't signed up for my virtual art classes, you should check that out on my website, artwithallbright.com. Yay! And I can get to know you better with um, the talking, the chatting on our uh, class time. Okay, so for the body, for his bottom, let's go up, up, up and curve it around and down. Okay, decide if that's a good size for you. You can't see his back feet because they're underneath him and behind his head, so we can't see those. And then we have the tail coming up this direction. Let me pull that down. So then for the tail, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flop it over just like that. Flop, and then take it up, and then flop it over and go down. And we'll add the really cool details here in just a second. Catch up with me, make sure you've got all these pieces. Um, and then now we're gonna start with a little harder pressure on our pencil and we're gonna start putting in fur for texture. If you feel your hair, that is texture, okay? If you feel your clothing, uh, it could be really, really soft or um, your legs could be hairy. Um, that is texture, okay? So when you draw, you want to give your eyes something to feel. That's pretty clever. What do you think? So right here, let's do some hair. Back up and down, up and down, zigzag all the way down. Did you see that? Let's try it on the other side. Go up and down, up and down, zigzag all the way down the side. Do you see we use these, all these lines that we've started doing um, help us create the character, okay? It's called um, blocking in the shape, um, building our character, um, everything we can do to make drawing so much easier. Yay, we all love um, drawing. I have a stampede coming at me. Ah, goodness gracious. So um, we have the hair. Now let's do the, the muzzle area. I'm going to just do some zigzags, make it fluffy, uh, make it look like it's got lots of texture, this puppy dog. Make him look so cute. Now this nose, I'm going to pull this nose down. Oh, I'm losing my reference. Now when you draw, I hope you have a picture of what you want to draw near you um, so that you can look at it and refer back to it. Um, I'm not an artist that can go, oh, you know what, I'm going to draw an elephant and sit down and just draw that. I need to see the proportions, the shape, um, the, the extras I want to add, all kinds of things like that. So I'm going to put a little reflective shape right there. You could put a star, you could put a crescent moon, you could put any kind of um, shape right there you want. But then we're going to go in and we're going to just fill this in color, color, color. If you like uh, using colored pencils or markers later, you can do that. You can leave this um, free of color right now but I love to just draw in pencil. My pencils are my favorite friends. I'm not really a reader, I'm a draw. I, I'm an artist, I love to draw. Okay, so for the eyes, let's do little ends right here. Bump, and then one over here. Bump, tuck that in behind his nose, okay? Two ends. And then inside of the nose, Watch, I mean, inside the nose, inside the eyes, what am I going to do? On both sides, I'm going to put arches on both sides um, of the same side of the eye, okay? I didn't go right and left, I did right, right. Okay, notice that, I don't want him cross-eyed. Then I'm going to put a reflective dot in there, and then I'll color that in. You are doing such a good job. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, would you do that? Help a girl out. One day I want to uh, let, let the world know that Art with Albright is fun to draw with. And I enjoy doing this. So if I know you're out there and you enjoy it, I will sit here and I will do more and more and more videos. Okay? You keep me busy and I'll keep you busy. How's that? Is that a good deal? I like to do that. As long as you're out there and having fun. That's all that matters, right? So for the ear, I'm going to just add a little texture by letting my pencil just get bumped. So you just bump it a little. 
and get texture. Okay, bump, 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 texture, texture, bump, 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 giving it this a little bit. They have those thin little ears back there. Now let's do the bottom. So start at where the tail is and just zigzag down. Okay, you got that? You with me? You're not snoozing. You're not. You're not getting lazy like my kitty cat here. My lazy cat. Oh, my lazy cat's getting lazy. He says, oh, I just can't do this anymore. I need more uh, excitement in my life. No, not actually. We don't need excitement, do we? We just need to have fun. This cat's really got it going on, though. He's like, hello, this is awesome. I'm having so much fun. Yes. So, I just don't ever, ever, ever want you to get frustrated with me, okay? Arr. If I frustrate you, let me know. I don't, I don't want to be frustrating. I want to be helpful. So, go down the other side and do your little zigzag, your hair going down the other side. And notice now, instead of drawing real light, you can see my pencil marks are so much darker. All right, you with me? So, now for this tail, watch what I'm going to do here. You're going to like this. We're going to take the tail and we're just going to get some hair on it. Go down, down, down like this. Okay, get some texture going. Do some light, do some dark, right? And then you can take your eraser and kind of blend this and have it coming toward it. And then when you do that, go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag up the tail, zigzag, zigzag up the tail. And then I'm going to start shading this side in right here with circular motion just a little bit. I'm going to just show you this real quick so you don't think this is so weird. Take your stomp. I uh, hope you have a stomp um, blending tool and start blending that in so it looks more like um, a real tail. Do you see how we did that? You can rewind it, watch it again, um, make it look like hair, you know, like a fluffy tail, okay? We'll finish blending him, but I want to get that tail done so that you uh, feel confident, okay? I want to help build your confidence in drawing. So now that we've done the tail, we've, we've put all the details in. Let's start on the mouth and the, the front paws, and then we'll go back and shade everything else, okay? You with me? So the middle of the paw, I want to put a nice big U. That's going to give him a big fat foot. And then pull up the other sides and give him a nice big paw. You see how we did that? Look for the middle, put in the letter U, and then on both sides, pull it up on both sides, okay? This one's kind of odd. I didn't make it as round, so I can fix that. That's why we draw so lightly. So we can fix things and we can make them look like we want them to and not have to be um, stuck with them if we're drawing in Sharpie or marker, okay? We don't want to be stuck with anything. We want to build our confidence. Now for the mouth, okay? Let's do this. I want to have his tongue coming out right here. Yes, are you with me? Oh, my, my computer's not with me. Now, from here, I want to take and have a bump, like he's have, he has a mouth open. You can leave it like this, and he can go, oh, what? Or you can have his tongue coming out like that. Okay, I'm going to have a bump here, pull it back. I don't know why I drew that line so dark. Oh, my, my eraser doesn't want to be flexible. Okay, so from here... I'm going to pull that up to his mouth, and then he's got a smile going on right here. Okay, if you didn't get that, let me go over it with you. We're going to make a bump here, bump here, okay, then pull it down, stop, pull a bump here, because it's, it's flapped over on the ground, flopped over, flapped over, and a flat line right here, and then curve it and pull it back. Okay, that gives you a nice... A cute little fat tongue. You can put a little line down the tongue if you want for like a crease. And then for from here, we're just going to pull um, his his uh, mouth in or his the muzzle, the sides of his face in right there, and erase that. What do you think? Did we do good? I think it's kind of too round. Mine is too round. I'm going to take it out and put it just a little flatter. There we go. That makes me happy. 
That makes me happy. Oh my goodness, this little guy. He needs some like uh, whisker dots. Let's put some whisker dots there. What do you think? I just tapped it down. Okay, so for shading, grab your stomp or grab a Q-tip or even your pinky or your colored pencils, whatever you're, whatever's making you happy as an artist. Not every artist is the same, so you do what you want. I filled up my stomp with some graphite. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to just shade in his ears because I want those to be darker than the rest of his body just because it adds some variety to my art. It adds a little different stuff to my art and maybe um, a cast shadow down the front of him. Um, and we need to add a horizon line. I heard some of you shouting that out. Good job. A horizon line. Give your eye a reference point. And opposite the light, we're going to shade. This, this gives the illusion that there's light. So you're giving more 3D effect, okay? It could be 2D if you want without the shading. I like shading. I like 3D. So I'm going to add some, some light source here bring it down the left side and then out the front I want a little cast shadow coming down just a little bit not too much okay now my stomp is loaded from this I'm gonna blend in my eyes clean it up and then I'm gonna start blending that shading do you see the difference a stomp makes these are um, you can get these at craft stores uh, for a couple of dollars not too bad um, they last forever if you take care of them. Uh, my dog stole one the other day, so it's um, in a timeout for to dry. <laughs> she thought it was her toy. I said, no, sweetie, that's my stomp. So there you go. What do you think? You got a cute little puppy dog going on. Uh, happening there well hit that like button for me definitely subscribe thank you to my 300 plus subscribers so far uh, my goal is by summer to have 1,000 subscribers can you help me out share my video with a friend uh, get your friends over for summer and have them draw with you so until next time guys keep drawing keep drawing